hole six, which is an easy little forehand pitch up. Maybe we can get an ace on this video, maybe not, but we'll see. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? I know this is a different little scene, you know what I'm saying, that you're used to. Got my little camera set up, got my microphone plugged in, but we're going to be going on the Google on my computer and seeing if we get like, we're going to be doing a three disc challenge and on my computer we got a whole bunch of different discs that we actually use or different molds that we use. Alright, so as y'all can see, we got Will right here and we got a whole bunch of different molds that we'll be using. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, click on one of these. And like I said, three disc challenge. So we're going to take any round three that they give us. If we get a putter, or if we don't get a putter, then I guess putting is going to take a little bit of a hit. But if we don't get a distance driver, maybe the distance will take a little bit of a hit. So all right, we're going to go ahead and spin the first one, see what our first disc is going to be doing. So let me turn this down a little bit so I don't just hear. OK. So the first one we'll be taking is actually the recluse. So, I only got one recluse, so we're going to be taking this grinder recluse, and we're going to be actually using it. Right, that's going to be our first disc I'm going to be using, so not a bad pick. Easy forehand disc. Alright, here we go. Second spin. See, I already got the recluse. I could take some fairway or a distance driver right here, because I could put with this. Ah, oh, the rampage. Okay. So, that's not too bad. We actually got this Icon Edition Rampage, pretty, pretty, pretty. So, I mean, Grinder or Recluse and Icon Rampage, not too bad right now to start off. Easy forehand dish right now. So, if we get a putter right here, that'll probably be the best thing. So, let's see if we can clutch out with the putter. Let's see what the disc, the wheel is trying to give us. I don't know. Okay, a phenom. All right. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. So, me and the phenom have been having like a shaky relationship. I actually got two icon phenoms, so it's either a choice of this one or let's check the let's check the closet real quick. We actually got two phenoms. We got this sick, all white. And we also got this phenom that's actually in the bag. Two as a max, so it generate two. So it's gonna be this one. This is my right hand. One, two. All right, so we're gonna take this phenom. So going on to the course, we're gonna have an Icon Edition, Icon Edition phenom, a Grinder Recluse, and the Icon Rampage. This grinder is actually a glow plastic, so. I mean, it ain't gonna be too bad. We got a putt and drive drive with this. So, are we going playing uh, McCola Disc Golf Park? That's typically where I do my putters only round. But I think we could be able to get it done with these three discs. So, uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump up to the course and we'll see how we do. We're out here at McCola. We'll be doing that three disc challenge. As y'all seen before, I'm actually be throwing the Recluse, the Phenom, and the Rampage on this course. Two. 265 on the starting hole par three a lot of these holes out here are a lot shorter and I mean hopefully come out here and shoot good I did previously record this video it's just that the only thing is is that I had to get another phone so I couldn't really upload it it wasn't too bad of a round but it also wasn't too good either but either way we're gonna have to shoot it again so I think we're gonna be going recluse off this first one and hopefully we could do some putting with the mid-range I don't know we're gonna see here Take a zoom in and zoom out. You came out here to help me, bro. Yeah, I thought I was gonna hold a camera in my hands. I thought, ooh. Oh, that would have been dope to start off with an ace though, but hey, that should be an easy putt for our two. Here we go for our birdie. You gonna follow it or no, or do you got both of them in there? Hurry up, man. Yeah, I zoomed in on it. 
All right, here we go. Par three, 260 feet. Gonna go with the recluse again. Probably the exact same line, but hopefully this one goes in. Park City again, baby. Oh! <laughs> Here we go for our two to go two, two, two. There we go. Easy pole. Three, part three, 390 feet, right? We're gonna go with the rampage. We're gonna go forehand left side because we do got a left to right wing going. So I honestly gotta push this a little bit further than what I normally do. So I don't know, I haven't thrown a forehand yet. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Stay perfect, do three. Who makes it? Oh, let's get it, baby. Perfect. Hole four, part three, 324 feet. We're gonna go with the Icon Edition Phenom. Probably just leave it off to the right a little bit. Probably leave it off to the right a little bit because this is a little bit stable and plus we have a right to left wind. So it won't really get all the way over. I might think about throwing a big old spike hyzer, but I think just planning up the, the gap and just having it skip left would be the ideal shot. Mmm, ah, dang it. Well, we gotta get up and down for our part now. And I'm gonna just throw it straight. <laughs> you good? Gotta put this one close to stay at least three under. Just a little bit left. Yeah, we've been making putts all day, so I mean, that's easy. It's getting you in the hole. Yeah. You want it just you? Or you can even zoom out too. Yeah, that's what, that's oh. what I was doing. All right, restart. All right, here we go. Stay at least three. Damn. Here we go again. Make my life harder on edging. No, but you should. Hole five, part three, 222 feet. We're gonna be going with the recluse again. Throwing it at that right side tree and hopefully it just hydrates back in. Don't really have, don't really wanna have a long putt. I think I already wasted all three of my putts to be three down, but now I'm two down. So let's see if we can get one back right here. And again, I leave myself with another 33, 40 footer. <laughs> So you could so you can hurt your elbow the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just to get back to three under. We need this one too. Oh, then we hit top band too. I mean that looked just so perfect coming out of the hands. It's just probably with this tailwind I need that to drop just a little bit more. But easy. Tap it for our three, going two under through. To hole six, which is an easy little forehand pitch up. Maybe we can get an ace on this video, maybe not, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, hole six, par three, 190 feet. The ideal shot right here is just to park it so we get back to three under. But I mean, if I accidentally mess up and somehow throw an ace right here, I mean, we'll take it as well. It's gonna be a simple hyzer with the forehand. Oh, and I messed up. So it's that tree and gets knocked down. Uh, looks like we're gonna be taking another three here. We got a gap here that we could hit. There's probably a little ante, because this is a stable disc. Just probably have to bend and just have it cruise left.
So hole seven, par three, 330 feet. We're just, we just need to really claw ourselves back out of this hole we kind of slumped ourselves in, or not slumped ourselves in, hole we dug ourselves in. So I think we're just gonna go forehand with the phenom. Hopefully it just stands up a little bit and goes right. And honestly, I wouldn't be mad at just going par, par, par out of the last three holes, but obviously that's not the goal. Oh, we left it too high. And we got we left ourselves a major putt, so don't know if we'll be running that. We'll just give it like a little soft bid, maybe. So like I said, now into position to actually run it. We're just gonna throw like a little high lob, but honestly don't want this to go in any further than the basket. Just for the fact that I'm perfectly fine going one down to the last two holes. Goal is three under by the end of the round. Yeah, all we wanted easily take our part right there and then just move on to the next hole I'm gonna be showing you every step of the way to this i don't know where i even shot the last time i came out here i think i might have shot one under my last time playing putters only so i think maybe the front nine if i get down to three under i think that might be my best front nine that i've had so we gotta try to go for that that's our goal in mind right now and honestly two pretty easy holes on the next two coming up so not really stressing it it's just execution at this point if your arm wasn't hurt this would be a good shot <laughs> all right hole eight part three 250 feet all you gotta do is just bend it over across this first tree in the front and then you'll be on the ace line are we gonna try to accomplish that yes but probably not as high for the age. Need to get a two here. Need it. And I just blasted past everything. Cause I'm just too strong. This is crunch time now. There ain't no laying up, so there is a chance that y'all might get hit. Y'all might get hit in the face. Ah, oh, the wind just dropped that one. All right, going one under to the final hole a little forehand shot i think i might honestly go with the i don't know y'all gonna see what i'm gonna do on the next hole hole nine part three 322 feet this ain't really a musket i mean one under through nine it ain't the ter most terrible score but i know it's been my driving this whole day not really not my putting which my putts could have been a little bit better but i mean you can't really do nothing whenever you're not throwing too well. So I think what I'm going to do is just throw a big old hyzer with my rampage on the right side. And hopefully it just gets right next to the basket. Okay, and we blasted that way past the basket. All right, so this is one that uh, I need to get pretty far out there, though. Close. Uh, Garbage. Watch out. <laughs> I gotta get hurt by a You never know if that got right into your eye. I got protective equipment. <laughs> you got safety goggles on? Exactly. Oh, baby. I almost missed that. All right. Well, not my best shooting. Definitely not my worst upshots and putts, or no, upshots and tee shots could have been a lot better, but I mean, there's nothing much you could do about that. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, maybe if you want to see my brother shoot around out here with me coaching him or not, please leave a like, subscribe, catch you in the next one. Definitely no coaching. Why not? Huh?